we are going to define another term of a fuzzy set and that is known as the core of a fuzzy set. Now, let us see what do you mean by the core of a fuzzy set. Now, the core of a fuzzy set is defined as your one cut. Now, let me just try to draw one fuzzy set here supposing that. So, this is nothing but a fuzzy set that is your a x and the mu is varying. So, this is 0, 0.0 and this is nothing but 1.0 and this is the x direction. Now, here so this is nothing but one cut one cut means what according to the definition. So, so mu should be greater than equals to 1, but it cannot be more than 1. So, it is exactly equal to 1. So, corresponding to this particular 1 that is mu equals to 1. So, I can find out what should be the corresponding value for this particular the x. Okay. So, this is actually the value for the x for which mu becomes equal to 1.0 and this is going to indicate the core of a fuzzy set. So, the core of a fuzzy set is nothing but it is one cut. So, I hope the meaning for so this particular term is clear to you. Now, I am just going to define another term that is called the height of a fuzzy set. Now, how to define the height of a fuzzy set? Now, corresponding to the different values for this particular the, the variable that is x. So, I can find out so, what should be the value for this mu another value x. So, what should be the value for the mu another value of x what should be the value for this particular mu. So, corresponding to the different values for this particular x. So, I can find out what should be the membership function values and out of all the membership function values we try to find out the largest one. So, the height of a fuzzy set is defined as the largest of all the membership function values corresponding to the different values of this particular element. Now, here if I consider, so here the maximum value for the membership is nothing but 1.0. So, height of this particular fuzzy set is nothing but your 1.0. So, corresponding to this particular fuzzy set, so its height is nothing but is actually 1.0. So, this is the way actually we define the height of a fuzzy set. Now, I am just going to define another term that is called the normal fuzzy set. Now, a fuzzy set is called normal if it if its height is found to be equal to 1.0. Now, let me let me draw one membership function distribution and this is nothing but a fuzzy set. So, this is a x is the fuzzy set and mu is say 0 0.0 and here it is 1.0. Now, what is the height here? The height this is nothing but the height of this particular the fuzzy set and here the height of the fuzzy set is nothing but 1.0 and this is a normal fuzzy set. Now, there is another concept that is called the subnormal fuzzy set. Now, let me let me take another example. Now, supposing that I am drawing a fuzzy set here and this is the mu. So, mu 0, 0.0 and here I have got 1.0. Now, supposing that I have got a fuzzy set something like this and if I can say and this is the x. Now, if I try to find out the height. So, this is nothing but the height of this particular fuzzy set if this is your a x. Okay. Now, here so this particular height is less than 1.0 because 1.0 is here and this particular height could be around say say 0 0.8 or 0 0.7 something like this. Okay. Now, here the height of the fuzzy set is less than 1 and this is what you mean by the subnormal fuzzy set. So, we have defined like your the normal fuzzy sets and the subnormal the fuzzy sets. So, we have defined a few terms related to the fuzzy sets and now we are going to concentrate on some standard operations which are very frequently used in fuzzy sets.
and let me try with uh, the, the, the first operation that is called the proper subset of a fuzzy set. Now, how to define the proper subset of a fuzzy set? Supposing that I have got two fuzzy sets say A x and another is your the B x and these are defined in the universe of discourse say so, x belongs to capital X. Now, I am just going to compare. So, these two fuzzy sets and I am just going to uh, uh, say how to carry out this particular operation that is called the proper subset of a fuzzy set or how to declare that this particular fuzzy set is a proper subset of another fuzzy set. Now, here the set A x will be called the proper subset of B x if mu A x becomes less than mu B x. So, if this particular condition holds good, we declare that A x is a proper subset of this particular the B x. Now, I am just going to uh, take the help of one numerical example. Now, supposing that I have got two fuzzy sets, two discrete fuzzy sets, one is A x is nothing but x 1 comma 0 0.1, x 2 comma 0 0.2, x 3 comma 0 0.3, x 4 comma 0 0.4 and another that is B x x 1 comma 0 0.5, x 2 comma 0 0.7, x 3 comma 0 0.8 and x 4 comma 0 0.9. Now, I am just going to compare. Now, for all x belonging to capital X that is the universe of discourse. Now, if I compare your the element wise their mu values for example, corresponding to x 1. So, if I compare these two corresponding to x 2 if I compare these two then corresponding to x 3 if I compare these two then corresponding to x 4 if I compare these two. So, we can observe that mu A x is less than mu B x because 0 0.1 is less than 0 0.5, 0 0.2 is less than 0 0.7 and so on. So, we can declare that this particular A x is a proper subset of your the B x and because this particular condition holds good. So, this is the way actually we can compare and we declare whether E particular set is a proper subset of another set or not. So, uh, the next operation is actually how to declare that two fuzzy sets are equal. Now, let me take the same example say I have got two fuzzy sets A x and B x defined in the same universe of discourse. Now, we called like A x equals to B x that is A x is equal to B x if and only if mu A x is found to be equal to your mu B x. Now, what you will have to do is element wise. So, we will have to compare. Now, element wise if you compare the two fuzzy sets for example, say one is nothing but is your A x is x 1 0 0.1 x 2 0 0.2, x 3 0 0.3, x 4 0 0.4 and B x is defined something like this. So, element wise we will have to compare the mu values we will have to compare. Now, if I compare then 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 they are not equal, 0 0.2 and 0 0.7 they are not equal and so on. So, my decision is mu A x is not equals to your mu B x that means, your A x is not equals to your the B x. So, the fuzzy set A x is not equal to fuzzy set B x. Okay. So, this is the way actually we can compare and we can declare whether the two fuzzy sets are equal or not. Now, I am just going to uh, 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 discuss another operation which is nothing but the complement of a fuzzy set. Now, how to determine the complement of a fuzzy set? Now, 
by definition your the complement of a particular fuzzy set A x is nothing but is your A x bar and that is nothing but 1 minus your A x. So, this is the definition of the complement of a fuzzy set. Now, supposing that I have got the fuzzy set like this that is A x. So, this is nothing but the fuzzy set and its complement is nothing but this how to find out the complement it is very simple. Now, here so this is nothing but is your A x. Now, corresponding to this value of x what is the value of mu? Mu is equals to 0. Corresponding to this what is the value of mu is equals to 0. So, 1 minus 0 is nothing but 1. So, I will be getting your up to this I will be getting this type of complement then from here to here. So, this mu is going to increase from 0 to 1 that means, your A x bar its complement is going to decrease starting from 1 up to 0. Now, you concentrate here corresponding to this value of x. So, this is the value of mu corresponding to A x and that is nothing but 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, this will be the mu corresponding to its complement and starting from here the value of mu is decreasing. So, if I concentrate on its complement the value for the, the mu will be increasing from 0 to 1 and after that the value for the mu is kept equal to 0. So, 1 minus 0 is nothing but 1. So, the dotted is going to indicate actually uh, the complement of the fuzzy set that is nothing but A x. Now, I am just going to solve one numerical example uh, just to show you like how to find out the complement of a fuzzy set. Now, supposing that I have got a discrete fuzzy set something like this. So, A x is nothing but this that is x 1 0 0.1 comma x 2 0 0.2 comma x 3 0 0.3 comma x 4 0 0.4 is nothing but is your A x. Now, its complement A x bar. So, element wise I will have to find out 1 minus that mu. So, here mu is 0 0.1. So, 1 minus 0 0.1 is nothing but 0 0.9. So, for its complement corresponding to x 1 the mu value will be 0 0.9. Nine. Corresponding to x 2 it will be 1 minus 0 0.2 and that is nothing but 0 0.8. So, I will be getting this. Then corresponding to x 3 I will be getting 0 0.7. Corresponding to x 4 so I will be getting 0 0.6. So, following this particular principle. So, we can find out the complement of a particular the fuzzy set. Now, I am just going to uh, discuss the concept of intersection of two fuzzy sets. Now, once again let me repeat that I have got two fuzzy sets A x and B x defined in the same universe of discourse that is capital X. Now, how to find out the intersection of these two fuzzy sets? Now, intersection of these two fuzzy sets is denoted by this particular symbol. So, A intersection B x is nothing but intersection of the two fuzzy sets A x and B x. Now, to define this particular intersection, so what we do is we try to find out what should be the mu value and we will have to compare in fact the mu values. So, mu A intersection B x is nothing but the minimum between mu a x and mu b x. So, the two mu values will have to compare and will have to find out its minimum and that is going to indicate the intersection of the two fuzzy sets. Now, I am just going to take uh, actually one numerical example just to show you like how to determine the the your the intersection of two fuzzy sets, but before that let me try to find out this. Now, as I told that this is nothing but A x 
one fuzzy set and this is another fuzzy set that is B x defined on the same universe of discourse and this is actually the direction of x and this is the mu. Now, the moment I am here, so corresponding to this a x, so I have got mu a x and that value is what? That is your 0 here, but mu b x, the b x has not yet been started. So, I am just going to proceed in this particular direction. The moment I come here, so I have got the membership function value corresponding to this particular a x. So, this is nothing but the membership function value corresponding to this a x and corresponding to this b x the membership function value is equal to 0, 0.0 and we try to consider the minimum. So, the minimum between 0, 0.0 and a particular value which is very near to say 0 0.9 say. So, the minimum is 0. So, I am just going to consider that mu corresponding to this is nothing but 0, it is intersection is nothing but 0. The moment I consider another value for this particular x, so corresponding to a x I will be getting some mu, corresponding to the b x I will be getting another mu, you compare and you consider the minimum. So, ultimately I will be getting this type of your, your the area which is the common to both the fuzzy sets. So, intersection by intersection actually what you mean is we try to mean the common area uh, between the two fuzzy sets. So, this is actually the common between the two fuzzy sets and this is nothing but the intersection of the two fuzzy sets and this is similar to the logical AND operation. So, AND operation actually we always try to consider the minimum and this is also known as the mean operation or the mean operator. So, AND is nothing but the mean operator and that is nothing but is your the intersection, the concept of intersection of two fuzzy sets. Now, I am just going to uh, solve one numerical example. Now, supposing that I have got two fuzzy sets, two discrete fuzzy sets, one is A x is nothing but x 1 comma 0 0.1 comma x 2 comma 0 0.2 comma x 3 comma 0 0.3 comma x 4 comma 0 0.4. So, this is nothing but is your the fuzzy set A x and I have got another fuzzy set which is nothing but the B x. Now, what you do is we concentrate element y. First, you try to concentrate on this particular the x 1. So, mu a intersection b x 1 is nothing but the minimum between mu a x 1 and mu b x 1. So, what you do is, so these two values we try to compare that is the minimum between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 and the minimum is nothing but 0 0.1. Now, next we try to concentrate on x 2. So, the mu a intersection b corresponding to x 2 is nothing but the minimum between 0 0.2 and 0 0.7 and we will be getting 0 0.2. Next, we try to concentrate on x 3. So, mu a intersection b x 3 is nothing but the minimum between 0 0.3 and 0 0.8 and that is nothing but 0 0.3. Next, we try to find out the, the mu a intersection b x 4 and that is nothing but the minimum between 0 0.4 and 0 0.9 and you will be getting 0 0.4. So, this is the way actually we can find out your the intersection. Then comes your the concept of the union of two fuzzy sets. Now, let me once again consider the two fuzzy sets like A x and B x defined in the same universe of discourse and their union is represented by this particular symbol that is A union B x such that its membership function value that is mu A union B x is nothing but the maximum between mu A x 
comma mu b x. So, what we do is we try to compare the membership function values element wise and we are going to consider the maximum. So, I am just going to take some example. Now, here you can see that I have got one membership function distribution and one fuzzy sets like A x and another fuzzy sets like B x defined in the same universe of discourse. Now, I am just varying the value of x the moment I am here. So, I have got the mu corresponding to your say A x is nothing but 0, but corresponding to the B x suppose that this is absent. So, we consider so this is the thing okay, as the maximum. Now, the moment I am here, the moment I am here, so corresponding to your this A x might be this is the membership function value say 1.0 and corresponding to B x the membership function value is 0, 0.0 and if I just compare the maximum will be 1.0. So, I will have to consider up to this next the moment whenever I am here. So, corresponding to this particular your A x. So, I will be getting some mu value and corresponding to the B x. So, I will be getting some mu value and we will have to consider the maximum. Now, if I follow this particular method then there is a possibility that I will be getting this shaded portion as actually your uh, the union of these two fuzzy sets. So, by union we mean actually the AND operator and this uh, OR op sorry I am sorry. So, this is the OR operator and this OR operator is nothing but is actually the max operator. So, we try to find out the maximum between the two mu values and that will give you the concept of union and that is nothing but is your OR operator. So, OR operator is nothing but the max operator and that is nothing but the union of your the two fuzzy sets. Now, I am just going to uh, uh, just solve one numerical example just to give you the concept of this particular the union of two fuzzy sets. Now, let me consider once again that I have got two fuzzy sets like one is A x and another is B x and these particular fuzzy sets are nothing but the discrete fuzzy sets. So, element wise we have got the membership function values that is the mu values. Now, if I want to find out that mu A union B x 1 that means corresponding to this particular x 1. So, I am just going to compare the two mu value that is your mu A x 1 and mu B x 1 and we try to find out the maximum and that means, we try to find out the maximum between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 and the maximum value will be 0 0.5. Similarly, corresponding to this particular x 2 we are trying to compare the two mu values. So, mu A union B x 2 is nothing but the maximum between 0 0.2 and 0 0.7 and the maximum value is 0 0.7. Then corresponding to x 3, so mu A union B x 3 is nothing but the maximum between 0 0.3 and 0 0.8. So, I will be getting 0 0.8. Then corresponding to this particular x 4, so mu A union B x 4 is nothing but the maximum between your 0 0.4 and 0 0.9 and this is nothing but 0 0.9. So, I can find out uh, the union of these two fuzzy sets. Then comes the concept of algebraic products of two fuzzy sets. Now, supposing that I have got say two fuzzy sets one is A x another is B x. So, by algebraic product actually we mean another set whose membership function values will be nothing but a mu a x multiplied by your mu b x. So, this is actually what you mean by algebraic product 
of two fuzzy sets. Now, I am just going to take one numerical example just to make it clear. Now, supposing that I have got two fuzzy sets, one is your A x, another is your B x. So, what I do is element wise, so element wise the mu values we simply multiply. So, what I do is corresponding to this particular your x 1. So, what I do is your, so we multiply 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.5. So, this is nothing but 0 0.05. So, this A x product B x is nothing but x 1 comma. So, 0 0.05. Similarly, corresponding to this x 2. So, I will have to multiply 0 0.2 by 0 0.7. So, this will become 0 0.14. So, I will be getting 0 0.14 then corresponding to this particular x 3. So, I will be getting 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.8 and this is nothing but is your 0 0.24. So, you will be getting 0 0.24 then corresponding to this particular your x 4. So, I will be getting 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.9. So, I will be getting 0 0.36. So, by following this particular method, so you can find out the your the product of two fuzzy sets. Thank you.